There are some things we are given in life. I was given a best friend like some kids were given stuffed animal dogs or baby blue blankets. His name is Zach. I met Zach the day he was born, three months after me, but already two years less mature. <laughs> after preschool, he wanted to go to the same elementary school as his sister. I told my parents, I want to go where Zach goes. We were Tommy and Chucky, Keenan and Kel, Doug and that weird blue guy. <laughs> we were like pineapple and pizza. You wouldn't think they go together, but it just worked. We were like puzzle pieces, but we weren't exactly the same shape. We didn't quite fit into each other, but we always belonged on the same board. Only I knew where he hid his giggle. Only he knew that I hid Fritos in my sock drawer for when I got upset. I didn't need to ask him where he kept his candy or if there was room in his ear for my homeland insecurities. My mom was his favorite restaurant in the city. His mom would pick me up from school when I was sick. Our mom cheered us on from the wrapping paper sidelines of soccer fields. He was the best present I'd ever been given. He told me how to masturbate. I told him how it felt to kiss a girl. We got dressed for school dances like we were preparing for battle. I knew every girl he'd ever had a crush on, and he knew every girl I'd ever had a crush on, but so did everyone. <laughs> we had our first drink together. Rather, we got caught stealing our first drink from my parents' liquor cabinet together. If someone made a Facebook album of my life, he would be tagged most. I was almost 19 the first time I didn't see him on the first day of school. He stayed in California for college, and when the snow turns into that gray mush, I wish I would have too. You see, I don't like talking on the phone, and he doesn't like texting, but that's the thing about best friends. When we do talk, it's like we saw each other yesterday. Today, I found out Zach's mom was diagnosed with leukemia. Zach's mom is my mom, and no metaphor needs to back that up because it's just true. I booked the first flight home I could. You see, this woman helped build the scaffolding of my life. Her footprint in the concrete of my foundation will remain in a kind of forever, the forever of the first bites of her brownies, the forever of her generosity that would seep out of her body like extra batter in a waffle iron, the forever of my bond with her son. You see, Zach and I have never had trouble exchanging glances for laughter. Our victories have always been communal. So, our tragedies will have two acts, because vivacious only turns into vicarious with a care, and our lives may seem like a comedy of errors with plaster white masks covering frowns with smiles, but as those doctors try and pluck the color out of your mother's face and poison the cancer out of her body, know that I'll always be that stuffed animal sitting by your bed, even if I've been hiding for a while. Zach, you'll be the best friend I'll never lose. Today, I asked my mom for advice. I should do that more. She said, we'll pray for her. We'll be close to her. We'll support her. That's what friends are for. <laughs>